Hello, Hello. We're, we're the, the Fingerprint, Fingerprint Friends. Friends. My name is Indigo. And I am Violet. We're here to tell you all about a disease called polio. And how we can all work together to... End, end polio, polio now. now! What is polio? Polio is a virus that spreads by person-to-person -person contact. It enters the body through the mouth and takes hold in the intestines. Through a microscope, it would look something like this. The capsid latches onto the wall of the intestines, then multiplies, later entering the bloodstream. Some people who get the virus are not affected at all. Other people develop flu-like symptoms. In a few cases, the virus spreads to the central nervous system. This is when things can get really nasty. Fewer than 1% of people get this paralytic form of the disease. This affects the muscles, limbs or the brain or spine. In extreme cases, the leg muscles can wither away. When this happens, we call them atrophied. In other cases, leg braces may need to be worn. But there is hope. Find out now as we explore... The, the story, story of, of polio. polio! We can trace polio back to ancient times. This ancient Egyptian stone tablet shows a priest with a withered leg. And many people throughout history were thought to have polio, even Roman Emperor Claudius. When life was dirty, nearly everyone caught polio as children. You'd have thought soap would help, but when things got cleaner, people weren't exposed to the virus, so did not build up immunity. Catching polio as adults increases the chances of it spreading to the nervous system. Bad news. From 1928, iron lungs were used for polio victims, whose chest muscles were affected. In 1959, 1,200 people used iron lungs in the US alone. In 1947, Jonas Salk began work on a polio vaccine to stop the virus spreading to the nervous system. The first test was on the 2nd of July 1952. In 1954, more than 1.8 million US children took part in trials of the new vaccine. Then, the largest trial in the history of medicine. In 1955, 10 million children in five countries were immunised. 1960. Meanwhile, Albert Sabine was working on a different way to fight polio by stimulating the body to create its own antibodies using a live diluted strain of the virus. This vaccine is taken orally. Because it's so easy to administer, Sabine's oral vaccine is now used worldwide to eradicate polio. And Rotary is leading the way. Just two drops are squeezed onto the tongue. With so many children being immunised, their pinky is coloured purple. Once they've had the vaccine. This is so we can tell who's been immunised and who hasn't. This is where we come from. The, the Fingerprint, Fingerprint Friends. Friends! And it's working. By 2015, polio had been eradicated in all but three countries. But unless it is eradicated from these places as well, it will continue to reinfect polio-free countries again. From 2013 to 2018, every pound Rotary commits will become three pounds, thanks to two-to-one match by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. That's why it's so important for us to... End, end polio, polio now! now.